Hello Quilt Artisans, my name is Shonda and welcome to my channel Under the Needle. So I am here because it is Thursday and so I'm here to talk about what I'm thankful for. So I've got a couple of things today. So the first thing that I'm thankful for is the lizard that came in here yet uh, today. So <laughs> um, a couple weeks ago in a video I had a frog in here. Some of y'all thought it was a cricket. I'm like no, it's definitely a frog. Um, I know how they, how they sound. I didn't used to, but I do now. I know the difference of um, at least my crickets and my frogs. I don't know about the rest of the country. But um, I know it, that what they sound like when they're in my house because they get in here all the time. Um, so I didn't really spend a lot of time down here until about a year ago. So about a year ago, I moved my sewing space from one of the bedrooms upstairs to uh, this room down here. And what I just didn't didn't really realize or pay attention to at first was that there's this large gap between my door and the door frame, and the critters were getting in there. They're get they were coming in. So not I mean it was too small for anything large. It's probably a size about that. That's probably the size of it. Maybe a, a little smaller because this is round and the space is more rectangular, but it's probably a little le a little less wide than this and they were just able to get in there and I just never did anything about it like I tried to like last year I got this foam that I thought I could try the foam I, the foam just came shooting out the can it was a disaster it didn't work and then I just kind of abandoned and then I, I think I tried to put a piece of weather stripping foam on there but I didn't do it right and it came off it like ripped off as soon as I opened the door so I just kind of abandoned it and today I was sitting at my desk and I was working and I saw something at the corner of my eye and it was a friggin lizard that it crawled in and I was just like no 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 so we, I gotta get it out so I went and kind of kind of shoot it outside <laughs> so I I opened the door and I just kind of you like use like a cardboard box to kind of get him to run because I knew once he ran and he sensed outside my hope was that he would go outside instead of staying inside so let me pause real quick and sorry about that they're outside doing yard work my fiance and my and my son and they've been out there for about an hour and a half and so I was like I'm not gonna start filming because as soon as I start filming they're gonna need to come in and out of here and then what happened as soon as I hit record somebody needed to come in and now, of course, you know, somebody's in the kitchen. I don't care. It's a busy house. It is what it is. So, anyway, um, do you need something? Okay. I mean, you can get it. What do you, what do you want to ask me? It never fails. As soon as I hit record, people need to talk to me. Anyway, so... I see, I shoo the lizard out the door, and I'm glad he goes out the door. Great. So I shut the door, and I'm like, okay, cool. And then I hear the frog again. And I know it's not the same frog, because I haven't, I went like a week without hearing the frog. And then I think just yesterday, I started hearing it again. So I know it's a different frog, or at least that frog went outside and came back. But it hasn't been in here continuously. So I'm like, great, another frog. And they like to stay by, they tend to stay by the door. Like, I don't usually hear them over here and, and on the other side of the room. They tend to stay by the door. And I have a little shelf, like a little small cabinet by the door. And something said, get your flashlight on your phone, look behind the cabinet. So I did. And of course, when I did, there was the tiny little frog. I tried to shoo him out. I was not successful. He did not make it. So, RIP to the frog. Um, so, long story short, it made me finally put up some weather stripping. So, I had the stuff that I had already purchased, so I bought it, and I, and I put it up there, and I plugged the hole, and so hopefully there shouldn't be any more lizards and frogs coming through the hole. So I'm thankful for the lizard for making me get up off my, my tail and do something that I was supposed to do a year ago. That's number one. The second thing that I'm thankful for is all of you. 
because I have not had a good 2023. Um, like the year of the pandemic was fine for me. Like probably 2020 was other than like being cooped up and not being able to go to the beach for the summer. My 2020 was pretty good. I, because I'm I'm a homebody and it doesn't really bother me to be home. It doesn't really bother me to not be around people. And then I was still able to. I still had the people in my household, and I was still able to get with um, family in limited amounts. So I had no issues with my 2020. I know it was a really bad year for a lot of people, but it really wasn't for me. But my 2023 it was. It's been. It was a bit. It started off a bit rocky. Um, and it's still rocky. You guys saw my video last week. So um, I want to thank you guys for, you know, because I'm an introverted, solitary person. And I have friends. And the things that I have said on this video, I have not said to my friends. Because I, I'm one of those people that I don't like to share until I've worked it out and gotten through it. The problem is I haven't worked it out or gotten through it. And so I, I haven't wanted to talk about it with them, right? So when I talk to you guys, it's very one-sided, right? I don't have to see your expression, right? I don't have to see your face look sad. And I don't have to put anybody in a position where they have to figure out what to say back to me. It's just easier for some reason. <laughs> So I'm able to kind of talk and get some of this stuff out and get support from you guys. Um, and so I want to thank you. I'm, I am really thankful for you guys as a, the quilting community and, and the quilting community that specifically likes to watch these videos that I make. <laughs> um. I want to thank you guys. I really do. Um, a few of you guys even bought me a coffee. I keep saying I'm going to mention you guys on one of, the, one of my videos, and I always forget. Um, so I want to go ahead and do that. Um, jo I'm not going to give anybody's last name, but Joanne C. bought me a coffee. Myra L., Diana B., um, all three of you have bought me a coffee this year. I want, to appreciate, I want to let you know that I appreciate that. I really do. I appreciate the support. Um, I... You guys have really been helping me. You know, not only do I get to share my work, my projects, but I also get to share what's going on in my life and, and get some support. So to that end, um, I have not done a giveaway uh, all year. I used to do them every month. So I want to do one this month. Um, and this is kind of impromptu. I didn't even decide anything. <laughs> I just decided in the moment that I'm going to do a giveaway and have no idea what I'm going to give away. Um, hmm. Sorry about that. So, uh, like I said, I wasn't planning to do a giveaway at all. Um, at all. Um, so, um, I had to go find something. <laughs> had to go find something. So, um... I'm actually going to give away two things. I have this um, mini jelly roll, uh, Joy in the Journey, by, I'm not sure who it is. I can't see who it is, but it's somebody from Riley Blake. Um, if you guys know the face, I don't know the face offhand, um, I probably know... I know Moda designers a little better than I know, like as far as their faces, than probably anyone else. Um, but yeah, so that's the name of the line, Joy in the Journey. Um, it's a Riley Blake collection. It's a roly-poly. It's only 18 strips. And the second item is going to be a 10-piece fat quarter bundle. Um, this is from Poppy Cotton. I love this collection. I love the typographic prints in here. So it's a, it's a collection of 10 prints. By Poppy Cotton, and the line is "Take Me Home." No, Country Roads, maybe. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to check the selvage to see to see if one of the selvages has um. I don't know. It this says to the place where I belong. 
So I don't know if it's actually to the place where I belong or something else. And I'm trying to see if I have a selvage that tells me, but apparently I don't. Let's see. Yes, Country Roads. So Country Roads by Poppy Cotton. Um, and so, yeah, it's a 10-piece fat quarter from that collection. And so those are the two things that I'm going to be giving away. And so to enter, all you have to do is leave the word thankful in the description. Now, normally I try to let you guys decide which one you want, but I think that might be a little too difficult right now. So um, I'm just going to send you one. So I guess the, um, the first person that contacts me, so this is, okay, this is, okay, let me start from the beginning. So put the word thankful in the description. Um, I will choose a winner and announce it next Thursday. So you have until Wednesday evening, Wednesday night at midnight Pacific time. Um, so that will be 3 a.m. Eastern. Um, you have until midnight Pacific time to... Uh, put the, to leave the word thankful in the description. Next Thursday, I will announce the winners. And when I announce the winners, I will provide the instructions on how to claim your prize. So that is it for me. That is my thankful Thursday for today. Uh, and I will see you guys next video.